G'day Lockie here. Super quick video. Um, it's going to be supplemental to a video that I did a couple weeks back on SMI and specifically the traffic split API. Now uh, I'll link that video in the description here but really what I want to show you is the same demo as I showed the other day um, whereby I drive a canary deployment, a blue-green deployment on Kubernetes on a service mesh using the traffic split API that you can see over here on the left. Right, so we have this pod info app over here on the right, this is the URL to it. At the moment, I am on sorry 1.4.0, and you can see that each time this refreshes, it's changing pods. There's more than one um, pod currently in this deployment. And I'm going to kick off um, a blue-green deployment. Um, simply here, I'm going to actually go back up here. We're just going to set the container image. Now, as I said, if you want all the details here, um, you can go back and watch that original video, but I really want to just go through the same demo here. Okay, so what we should see up in the top here is that Flagger has actually detected that we have a new canary. Um, it's going to take care of the rollout by reconfiguring this traffic split API and start uh, rolling up traffic to the canary and winding it down from the primary and then once that pass it'll start um, it'll flip the canary to primary and remove the current primary so what we should see here is once this starts winding up I'm just going to um, mash command R here we should see that once this starts going up it'll go in increments of 10 percent okay so we see we have 1090 and you just saw I hit a green one yes so 1 in 10 um, requests now go to 1.4.1 and what we should see is that continue to go up so as this progresses. So we should start hitting, there's some more. We should see it even out to 50-50 and then it should swap. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're up to 30 and 70 now if you're watching over here. So we should see more green and we do. So this is rolling out and again we see Flagger doing its magic up here and reconfiguring everything. The interesting thing to note is the only interaction with Flagger with the service mesh that's driving this blue-green under the hood, which is reconfiguring the service endpoints, is via this traffic split API. Okay. So we're at 50-50, we're at parity, so half, a, half to each, and I'm mashing this really quickly, you see it refreshing. So after 50-50, I think it'll go 60-40, then it'll start to, um, it'll promote. Um, copying the template over now it's going to promote and flip it over once and for all and we should end up with everything going to 1.4.1 in its entirety and that will complete the blue green canary deployment right so we'll let that finish I think the only thing I really want to show here is that if you're watching down the bottom cube cuddle get pods the very cool thing here is um, I actually have F Flagger installed with Linkerd, right? So the last demo I had Flagger installed driving this traffic split API and under the hood we had Istio. So again, now this is showing you the value of SMI, right? So the data plan is different. The interaction with the service mesh is the same and I have the same outcome. So basically I've run the exact same demo. We should see this. This is all now exclusive. We 1.4.1, that's finished. But the really cool thing is I've just flipped out the data plane from under the hood, but as a user, um, I'm using Flagger the same way I would. Flagger's configuring the traffic split um, API, and now Linkerd is implementing that as in the runtime rather than Istio before. Now, this is the real value. As a user, I only have to touch this traffic split API, and I get the same experience regardless of the underlying um, infrastructure. So... Here we go. I'm just going to pop you over. There's a great um, PR this landed this week, which allows Linkerd support for Flagger. There's a great little diagram. Thank you to um, Stefan for putting this diagram up and the folks at Weavework. Exactly what's happening. Now, you just need to run Linkerd Edge, and this will work, and, and follow these instructions. And then I just basically ran the same demo that I ran in the last video. Um, so if you want to learn more about um, SMI, go to smi-spec.io. Uh, you can take a look at my last video. And thank you for tuning in. If you love this video, please subscribe. Please click like. Um, and I hope you're excited as I am about SMI. Thanks for joining. Cheers.